Good morning, everybody, and welcome to a Strength and Balance class here with Hannah. Um, today, we're going to be discussing um, some of our fall prevention strategies, as well as, yeah, a 45-minute class, strength, um, strength workout, and some balance, too. Things you'll need are a set of weights. Mine are a three pound. A two, three, or a five would be perfect. You'll need some space to work. Um, I have a yoga mat, although nothing will be on the floor today. This is a um, a standing or seated class only. We won't be getting down on the floor. Also have some water. I like to drink quite a bit through the class. Um, my mouth gets, gets a little dry with all the speaking. Um, so have your water handy if, um, if you'd like to. We're gonna start with a little bit of a chat um, about footwear. Footwear and foot care today. Um, the other day we talked about the importance of regular foot care and how that relates to fall prevention. If your feet are in good condition, you're able to properly sense what's underfoot um, and that helps you keep your balance, which helps you um, avoid falling. So keeping those feet um, in good condition, um, watching, checking daily for cuts, blisters, calluses, um, anything like that is really important, especially important if you're a person who has poor circulation or diabetes, taking care of your feet is um, utmost of the utmost importance. So we want to talk about shoes a little bit and the fit of your shoes really matters. Um, laces or Velcro closures are going to give you a snug fit, um, but can be adjusted and can allow for any swelling of your feet that you might experience. Um, it's a great idea to shop at a store that can help you fit your shoes. Uh, I think there's Paul's shoes in Del High for people who are watching locally um, that they will fit shoes for you. And also, I believe that Al shoes in Simcoe for sure they will help fit um, child shoes. Now, I've never asked them to fit me, but I imagine that they would be just as helpful for adults as well. Um, you want to look for a low, rounded and wide heel, so between a quarter inch and one inch. Um, I'm not going to tell you that you should never wear um, your high heels or your stilettos, but let's have a balance and try and be in more flat shoes um, for the majority of the time. Um, shoes with a closed heel or a strap are uh, preferred to slip on um, flip-flops or mules. Um, anything without that back can easily slip off your foot or, or make you trip. Um, if you, you'll want to have um, a nice wide toe box, so that bit at the front, you want that to be nice and wide, wide enough that your feet um, sit, your toes sit um, in the natural position. So if you look at your bare feet on the floor, all your toes can touch the ground they can all spread out you will want to replicate that in your shoe so anything with a really narrow toe is not the great not the greatest for your foot health um up is made of nice breathable material and a thick sole um nice and flexible through the front through the forefoot um yeah really something where your foot can maintain its natural shape um okay let's keep going my piece of paper away we're going to warm up and um then we'll then we'll begin so let's stand up nice and tall here move my chair out of the way we're going to stand feet about hip width apart here and we're just going to pick up that nice easy march moving those arms forwards and backwards standing up nice and tall relax through the shoulders and let's start by warming up our shoulders. So picking those shoulders up and lowering nice and slowly. Nice big inhales and exhales. Deep breathing here. We'll do two more of these. Here's one. And two. Let's roll those shoulders. Nice big circles. And forwards. <laughs> Seems like I'm standing on a squeaky patch on the floor. I don't know if you can hear that. Let's bring those arms out to the side. Little circles here. And back again.
Good. Let's make those circles bigger now. Reaching forwards. Hey, we're out for a swim. And let's go backwards. Good, shake those arms out. Let's take one foot, we're gonna tap our toe and our heel. Toe and heel, have some arm movements too, if that feels good, heel. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel. Let's switch to the other foot, tap your toe and your heel. Toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, toe. Heel, one more, two, and heel. Let's pedal our heels. Lifting that heel, lifting that foot. One, and then the other. Add some arms in. Very good. Let's pick up those hands, bend at the elbow, press those hands back. Bend, and press. Bend, press, bend, press. Bend and press. One more. Bend and press. Good. Shake those, shake those legs out. Let's take those feet about hip width apart. We're just going to circle those hips nice and slowly. Back in the other direction. Very good. Keeping those heels in contact with the floor now, we're going to tap our toes. Wriggle those toes. Pick up those hands. I want you to tap those fingers to thumb. Good. Take those hands again, squeeze to make a fist and stretch those fingers out. Squeeze and stretch. Squeeze. And stretch out, squeeze, and stretch, squeeze, and stretch. Good. All right, last, last one. We're going to pick up that march once again for a few moments. Pick those hands up, circle your wrists nice and slowly. Back in the other direction. Good, let's take a big deep breath here. Nice big inhale. And exhale, good, one more. And exhale again, great. All right, we're ready to begin. Let's pick up one of our weights. We're gonna hold it here at our chest. We're going to do a squat to begin with. We're gonna walk our feet out a little bit wider than usual. So feet are a little bit wide, about shoulder width apart here. We're standing nice and tall. You're gonna sink that bum down nice and low. <sighs> Big exhale to stand up. Let's do eight of these together. Nice and slow on the way down. A little bit faster on the way back up. Big bend of those knees. Coming down as low as you comfortably can. Holding that weight in a nice relaxed grip at your chest. Chest is nice and tall. Shoulders are relaxed. Inhale as you sink down. Exhale as you stand. Here's the last one. Very good. Pop that weight down. And we're going to do a little bit of a lunge. You'll need your chair. So I'm gonna stand right behind my chair and use the back here for some support. So let's step one foot forward. I'm gonna step my left foot forward first, my right foot comes behind. I'm gonna pick up that right heel. As I pick up that right heel, I bring that knee down towards the floor. Let's have a bit more space. So pick that back, that back heel, so it's my right chest is tall, 
pick up that heel, sink down. Nice and slow. Exhale as we stand up. Inhale, exhale. Just moving slowly and bending those knees just as much as that feels comfortable. Our knees really like to bend. That's what they're designed to do. So let's take it slowly. Last one here. And let's switch our feet around. So my left foot's behind now, same thing again. Lifting that back heel. See, I'm keeping my chest nice and tall, not leaning forwards. Remembering to breathe. Two more here. That's one. And two, very good. I'm just gonna move my chair out of the out of the way, out of camera. And let's pick up both weights. <laughs> I'll turn to the side so you can see my body position. We're going to do um a, a deadlift movement, um, which is really a hip hinge with some weights. So we're gonna stand up nice and tall, shoulders are back. I've got a weight in each hand, and there's weights from front of me here. Soft knees, that's very important. Remember, we hinge at the hips. You're sticking your bum right out behind you. We'll bring those weights down to the floor. So it looks like this. We're not trying to get the weights on the floor. We're just concentrating on that hinge of the hip. Inhale as you lower down. Exhale as you stand up. You should feel that in your hamstrings, so those muscles at the back of your thigh. And one more. Very good. Pop one weight down. We're going to go back to the beginning of those three exercises, repeat those. So we'll start with that wide squat. So feet are a bit wider than shoulder here holding that weight in a nice loose grip at your chest chest is tall here we go inhale and exhale you can see how my toes are turned out a little bit makes it easier to do that wide spot inhale on the way down Exhale as we come back up. And here's the last one. Very good. Up the weights down, we're going to do that lunge again. So I'll grab my chair. And use that for support here. So left foot forward, right foot is back. And we're going to take, I'm going to lift that right heel. So lift that heel and the knee comes down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Moving nice and slowly. Nice controlled movement is always more comfortable for your knees. One more. Switch this feet around now. Standing nice and tall again. When you're ready, lift that back heel. Good, nice tall chest. Remembering to keep breathing. Shoulders are back. Last one. Great. I'll pop the weight, the chair away. And let's grab our weights. We're going to do that deadlift, that hip hinge movement. So standing, you can stand wherever you want. I'll turn to the side so you can see me better. Feet hip width apart, soft knees. 
We're going to hinge at the hips. Exhale, stand. Inhale on the way down. Exhale up. Nice and slowly here. Keeping a nice flat back, keeping those shoulders relaxed. One more. Very good. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Put that weight down a little bit too low. Huh? All right, we're gonna head into some upper body. Um, upper body exercise. So taking a weight in each hand, again, I'm going to turn to the side to show you this one. We're going to do a tricep movement. So like always, my feet are hip width apart, my knees are soft. This time I want you to stick your bum out a little bit and lean forward, almost here at a 45 degree angle. And I'll show you with one hand, we're going to curl that hand up and then straighten it out behind you. And we'll do one arm at a time to start with and then we'll We'll switch so we have both arms at the same time. So it's half knee, leaning forwards. <laughs> Stick that arm out of it. Let's take one hand, curl up, and straighten it out behind you. And then the other, curl up, and behind. One first side again, up, and back, up, and back. Good, now both arms at the same time. Curl up, and back. This hands up, bring them up behind you, moving nice and slowly. And one more. Very good. We're going to work our shoulders a little bit today. So standing nice and tall, we need to pick up those weights. So those elbows are up, hands are up near your head. We're going to press one arm at a time, straight up to the ceiling, slowly on the way back down. And then the other. One at a time again. And the second arm. And let's do both arms. One. Two. Three. Four. Nice and slow on the way down. Five. And six. Good. Relax those arms. Let's uh, shake those arms out a little bit. We're going to pick them up to the same time. So elbows are up, weights are up by your head. We're going to bring those elbows towards each other and slowly back out to this goalpost position. Here we go. Nice and slow. Remembering to keep breathing. Standing up nice and tall. Let's think about those abdominal muscles. And one more. Good, relax those arms. Oh, no, it's tiring on the shoulders. All right, we'll repeat all of those. Um, let's take a sip of water. We're gonna start with that tricep movement again. This time as we run through all of these upper body exercises, I really want you to think about your abdominal muscles. So we're going to pull that belly button in towards your spine so those four muscles are engaged all the time. All right, let's try that tricep movement. So feet hip width apart. Nice soft knees, stick that thumb out. We're going to lean forward a little bit. Pull that belly button in towards your spine. One arm at a time for two. So curl that hand up and back. Second arm up and back. First arm, curl up, out behind you. The second arm, curl up, out behind you. Both together here. Curl and kick back. For five, curl, kick back. Four, keep breathing. These three, think about those core muscles. Two and one, good, nice and slowly stand up. And we'll go straight into that overhead press now. Pick those elbows up, hands up near your head. Let's push up one hand 
And the other one and the other, let's concentrate on lowering slowly for six, five, four, pull that belly button in towards your spine, three, two, and one. Good, and relax for just a second. And then we're gonna pick those hands up again. <laughs> and we'll be in that goal post position here. Bring those elbows together for one, two, nice and slowly, three. Think about that upper body position, four, five, six, seven, here's the last one, and eight. Good, lower those arms. Ooh. Oh, weights are down, weights are down for now. Take a deep breath. All right, you might be pleased to hear that the next two exercises are going to be seated. So grab your chair or move yourself to your chair. We're going to start with a nice little lay back. I want you to sit somewhere towards the front of your chair. Make sure there's some space between your back and the back of the chair. Imagine that there's a string attached to the top of your head, it's pulling you up towards the ceiling. So really we wanna think about having a nice tall spine. Our shoulders are relaxed, the chest is lifted. We're pulling that belly button in towards our spine. <laughs> All these things that I say over and over again, we're going to do those right now. So feet are flat on the floor. We're going to hinge at the hip to lean forwards and then lean ourselves back. So here we go. Hinging forwards at the hip and back. You just want to go so far. Um, you want to stop before your feet start to come up off the floor. And if that's really difficult, if you find that your feet want to pop up off the floor um, too soon, you can scoot yourself back in your chair a little bit. So long as there's some space between your back and the back of the chair, you're all right. Okay, here we go. So inhale and exhale back. Good, nice and slowly. Thinking about that long spine all the time. Let's do two more. There's one, and two. Very good. Sitting up um, nice and tall again. Again, with some space between your back and the back of the chair. We're going to lift our knees one at a time, and then take that opposite hand to touch your knee. So we have a little rotation of that upper body. Think about that nice long spine again here. Nice and slowly. One more each knee. One, two, perfect. And back to center. Oh, try not to be dizzy. All right, let's do those laybacks again. Once more with that very long spine, pull that belly button in. Let's inhale to hinge forwards and exhale as we come back. Inhale and exhale. Last, not quite the last one. <laughs> one more, nice and slowly. Very good. And let's repeat that last exercise. So nice knee raises, one at a time, nice and slowly, adding opposite hand to knee.
Good, nice tall spine. Really think about that upper body moving slowly. One more on each side. One and two. Good, back to center. All right. Take a second chair, have a drink if you need to. We are going to move on to balance. So have that chair handy. We always like to have it there for a little extra support. Oh, Okie dokie. We're going to start with our feet very close together. So feet right against each other, as close as they can be, standing up really nice and tall. Pull that belly button in towards your spine. Relax those shoulders, nice tall chest. Let's reach one arm to the ceiling. And the other arm. Both arms to the ceiling. Arms come slowly out to the sides, and then our arms reach forwards. Let's turn this palm up, and then down, up, down. A couple more times. Good, and relax. We're going to start with, um, let's call this my staggered stance movement. So we're going to have one foot directly in front of the other. And if you can, your feet are going to be right up against each other. So you just got heel to toe here. If this is too tricky to balance, that's okay. We can modify. So take that front foot out to the side a couple of inches. So your feet aren't exactly in line. There's a little bit of space between them. You can keep those feet together, that's good too. So aim for that. A little bend in that back knee helps you keep your balance. Stand up nice and tall. All those things with the upper body. Pull that belly button in, relax our shoulders. And we're gonna reach one arm to the ceiling. So similar to what we just did. Bring that other arm right up. Arms out to the sides. Let's reach one forward, so one back. Hold this here for a moment. And the other way. One on forwards, one on backwards. Good, back to center and relax. Let's switch this feet around now. Okay, feet are heel to toe, right in line if you can. And if you can't quite, just take that front foot away a little bit. A couple of inches up to the side. Bend that back knee to help your balance. Stand up nice and tall. Let's reach one arm to the ceiling. And the other. Arms out to the sides. I'm going to reach one forward, one back, and hold it here for a few moments. And the other way. Good, slowly back to center, relax those arms and move your feet to standing. It's more comfortably, very good. We're going to stand now with our feet um, a little bit wider than hip width apart, so nice and tall. We're going to start by shifting that weight slowly and gently from one foot to the other. Looks like we're rocking from side to side. Both feet stay on the floor. 
I'm just coming up onto toes on my one foot. We're just moving slowly. Weight from one foot to the other. One to the other. This time as I move to the left, I'm gonna reach my left arm out. Same thing to the right, reaching with that right arm. Last one on each side. This time as I move to the left, I'm going to take my right arm to reach across. And same thing the other way, reaching with the opposite arm. So you're really moving that weight into one foot. You can imagine that um, maybe you're standing at the kitchen counter and you're reaching for something, like you left your knife over here. You bring it back to your chopping board and <laughs> then you need something, you need your cloth here, your dishcloth, and then you're gonna wipe up. <laughs> so just practicing that reach and that weight moving from one side of your body to the other. Good, relax your arms here. Now this time I'm gonna move to the left and take my right foot off the floor, just a couple of inches. I'm just gonna try and hold this here on the one foot. Three, four, and five, and then onto the other side, lifting that foot slightly. For one, two, three, four, and five. Back to that first side now. For one, two, three, four, and five, and the second side. One, two, three four, and five. Good. Back to center. Walk around. I like to take in between the balance exercises. I like to just march it out a little bit so you aren't always thinking about um, moving so carefully. Okay, we're going to do our little flamingo movement. I don't know what it's called flamingo because Last time I saw a flamingo, they didn't really stand like this, but nevertheless, I heard that's what this was called, and now that's what I call it, and I know what I mean. <laughs> so we're gonna stand nice and tall. Take your weight onto your right leg. We will bend in that right knee. Take that left foot forward so your heel is touching the floor in front of you. And hold this here for a second when you feel comfortable. Take that left foot up off the floor, just a very small amount, a couple of inches. Left hand, so same side hand, is going to reach forward. Now you may be holding on to something with the right hand, and you can stay right here if you are, or if you feel confident, take that right hand to reach forward too. Oh. Deep breaths. Let's relax everything to the floor and then we'll try the other side. So weight onto your left foot, um, little bend in that left knee. Take that right foot forward. So I'm just gonna step back so you can see my feet. Heels touching the floor. And let's take that right foot off the floor, just a couple of inches. Reach that right hand forwards. And then again, if you feel confident, take that left hand forwards too. Good and relax here. Yeah. Very good. I'm going to do a little bit more standing on one leg. So a few more single leg poses. Again, take that weight onto your right leg. I like to start with my left foot so my toe is touching the floor. So I'm working on taking that foot off the floor. And then once I feel like I'm comfortable and relaxed on that right foot, I can take that left foot up off the floor. We're just gonna hold this here, um, just like this for a few moments. Really thinking about relaxing into the foot on the floor, thinking about that upper body position and finding something ahead of you that you can focus on. So a spot on the wall, um, something on the shelf in front of you that isn't moving. 
something to fix your eyes on here. And then let's take one arm to the ceiling. And if you can manage the second arm, then bring those hands down into that prayer position. If you're holding on with one hand, don't worry. And relax, everything's on the floor. Switch to the other side now. So wait onto my left foot, a little bend of my knee. Let's take my right foot up so my toe is touching the floor. Relaxing into that foot on the ground. And I'm going to pick my left, my right foot up. Standing tall, chest is lifted. Focusing on that spot on the wall ahead of me. Reach one arm to the ceiling, and if you can, reach the other arm. Hands together and down into that prayer position here. We'll hold it for a few moments. Good, relax that foot on the floor. Very good. All right, one more um, balance game to play. We're going to do our clock game. So imagine that your feet are standing in the middle of a clock face. And the numbers are painted on the ground all the way around you. We're going to move our feet from one hour to another. So let's start by stepping forward to 12. And then to one. Now two. And three. Then four. And five. And then six. The switch feet to seven. And eight. Nine. 10, 11, and back to 12. Good, I'm gonna call out some numbers. Let's step to three. Now 10, and four, now 11, and seven, and one, now five, six with the other foot, and nine, then two, and eight, and two, and eight, now two, then eight again, and two once more. Good, let's stop that there. <laughs> All right, very good. The power just flickered here. I don't know if there's a storm somewhere. All right, we're ready to stretch. Very good. It seemed like it went really fast. <laughs> let's take one hand across our body. Hold that stretch here. <clears throat> oh, take some nice deep breaths. Good, let's switch to the other side. Great, and relax. Stretch one arm up to the ceiling. And I'm gonna bring that hand back behind your head. With the other hand, we can push back on that elbow very gently, just to increase that stretch in your upper arm.
Good, relax those arms nice and slowly. Let's bring that right arm up, bend your elbows so your hands behind your back. And again, use that other hand just to push on that elbow just a little bit to increase the stretch if you wish. Excuse me. Good, relax those arms slowly. Let's take our hands, link those fingers behind your back, and then very gently, very carefully lift those hands just a little bit. When you feel that stretch all through the front of your shoulders here, through the front of your chest, it's being in soft. Good. relax those arms, excellent. Let's have a seat now. Good, we're gonna stretch one leg out so your heel is touching the floor. Sorry, you can't see my feet, I'll turn this way. Heel, I still don't see my feet. <laughs> heel is touching the floor. Where am I? Heel is touching the floor. Toes are pointing at the ceiling. Hinge at the hip. When you feel that stretch in the back of this leg, let's hold the stretch here, okay? Good, back up to center, and um, let's switch again. Stretch that leg out, heels touching the floor, toe to the ceiling, and we'll hinge at the hip. Feel that nice stretch in the back of your leg. Great. Let's sit back a bit here. And I'm going to take my right hand, touch it to my left knee, and then look back behind my left shoulder. Good, back to the center. And let's go to the other side. Left hand to right knee, look back behind your right shoulder. Good, back to center again. Let's sit right back in that chair. Pull that knee up towards your chest. I'm going to circle, circle that way. Nice and slowly. And back in the other direction. Good, switch to the other side. Pull that knee up, nice circles with those ankles. Good, relax that foot. All right, let's come up to feet to finish. Shake those arms and legs out, let's take those hands, reach behind you. Stretch those fingers right out. Squeeze those shoulder blades together. Lift the chest. Take a big inhale. We'll hold it here. And then as you exhale, those arms are under yourself. Nice, tight squeeze. Give yourself a pat on the back. Thank you very much for joining in this class. This was good fun. 
Hope everybody has a great day uh, and um, we'll see you again next time. Thanks, Hannah. Have a good day. Thank you.